I, guys, I didn't even have a bullet in my freaking gun because I'm that smart. Hi guys, and welcome back for another episode of The Long Dark. And today we're hopefully going to either go hunting, we're going to learn to hunt, or we are going to learn to fish. We're going to continue on with Jeremiah's School of Survival. So we're going to click right on him. We're going to get straight away start straight away what that didn't even make sense okay survival school yes we're gonna just race through this guys because we've read it all before twice now <laughs> let's talk about some survival skills what do you want to tackle so we have fishing and we have uh hunting we have already done the clothing and the gathering let's see i think i'm going to go with the fishing i think that might be a little bit longer because it's fishing is slow guys um but hunting seems a little bit more difficult. I, I feel like hunting, there's going to be a lot of death involved with myself. So we're going to go with fishing. Fishing, do you really have time for this? You want to always have the means to hunt, so you need to know more than one way to feed yourself. Protein is scarce in the winter. Fishing might keep you dumb. You're dumb. You dumb. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your dumb pilot ass from dying out there. You sure have a way with words. Well, thank you. Head to the camp office at the edge of Mystery Lake. You'll find the gear you need for ice fishing. So we've already been there. Yes. Why do I feel this is a thinly veiled scheme to get me to feed you for the winter? Because we've done it already once with Grey Mother. Now, didn't we? Nothing thinly veiled about it. Look at me, Mackenzie. That old bear wrecked me good. I won't, I won't hunt or trap this season. If my, If me teaching you means... We both survive. What's the harm? You want to try your hand at it? Yes. We are going to try our hand. I'll be back with the fish. I can smell it already. Okay, so let's see just exactly how much we need to get. It says learn to craft fishing tackle and catch fish from Mystery Lake. We need to get five kilograms worth of fish in the container at Jeremy's Cabin cabin so I'm gonna assume it's the uh, container that's outside because I certainly don't see anything in here uh, that you know opens and keeps stuff in it so I okay we're gonna head on out and uh, I'll meet you up back at the mystery lake cabin we have our handy dandy little flare gun out if we run into any wolves I still might want to kill a wolf because I only have one piece of that deer meat that I got during the last episode. Remember all that deer meat I got? Ooh, I gotta start paying attention about now. Okay, I gotta, we're gonna go this way. Uh, remember all that deer meat I got the last episode? Well, if you don't, I got like eight or nine kilograms of meat, which was a lot, and I only have one piece left. So maybe I don't want to scare them off. Maybe I actually want to try and fight them. We'll see. We'll keep it in our hand just in case. So, we are at the cabin. We did not encounter one wolf, not a one. They're like all hiding. Um, yeah, n nothing, nothing, and that's that's good. Uh, I'm okay with that. Now, I have a feeling out on the ice, however, will be a different story. Uh, so, there's always, that looks like a carcass out there. I am half tempted to go check that out, right? You probably can't tell uh, where those birds are circling. I think that might be a wolf carcass. I'm going to go get that, I think, because uh, I kind of need some meat about now. I'm hungry, and I only have one piece of uh, deer meat. So uh, we're going we're gonna to make our way over to that thing. We're going to chop him up and get that meat. Might even want his leather. I, I think I might have to. We could at least put it in the cabin for later. I might need to, uh, you know, repair some stuff. Sure enough. Okay. What do we get? We got three and a half. And I also, I'm going to take his guts. I think there's already some in the cabin, but we're just going to harvest it all. But uh, we need to, I think we might need guts for the fishing line. I'm not entirely sure. I do know we need a hook and we do need a uh, line. So now I'm all turned around. This happens every time. Okay. This way. So we do need a hook and a line and it sounded like that stuff would already be in there. I do think I have I do think I have some on me. I'll have to take a look here and uh, have to leave something behind. Yeah, I know you're encumbered like always. Get used to it, buddy. Get used to it. Um, 
Yeah, we'll see. We're just gonna go right in here into this cabin and we'll see what's uh, in here. There might be some guts on the ground. I don't know if I picked them up or not. I never know what I'm thinking. I don't know what the theory is behind some of the crap I do. Okay, uh, <laughs> so let's come over here. Yeah, there's some nice guts. They're fresh. They're ruined, see? Ruined guts versus, let's see what we have on me. Fresh gut. So can be used for crafting and repair after air drying indoors for five days. So I don't know, this says it's ruined. Maybe I left it laying there for more than five days. That's quite possible, guys. Um, yeah, that's nasty. We wanna leave that. <laughs> okay, so here is fishing tackle under the first tab. So we have uh, the hook and the line already, so we can make two, it looks like. It's gonna take 10 minutes. Uh, so let's begin crafting because you know this tackle stuff this fishing tackle does break quite easily uh, So we'll do another one anything right about now. So that'll give us three I believe um, Yeah, so we're out of line and I think line is made out of the guts cured gut Okay, so I have a whole day has passed. I have uh, I went ahead and made a two more fishing lines we have three and then I uh, broke up a, a shelf and made a fire and cooked up all that wolf meat I've already eaten a couple pieces since then I have one left I think I had four pieces and I have, so I've eaten three um, FYI so if you play this game just so you know uh, the sleeping bags there was an there was an extra sleeping bag right here and so I thought well I can use it for cloth harvesting cloth because I had a couple pieces of uh, equipment that were a little low, not horrible, but in the 60s. So I thought I would, you know, repair them. And so I saw that sleeping bag and I already had one on me. So I clicked on one was 72% and the other one this was this 88. So I took the lower one. 10 cloth I got off of there. So um, I'm not sure. I should check and see if I have bandages. Uh, yeah, I have a couple. Um, I might, I think I'm going to make a couple more just to be safe. Uh, but the wolves like to be out on that ice lake. And uh, if I'm going to be out there while fishing, just want to protect myself a little bit. But so we're going to go ahead and head back out there now. It is kind of foggy out. Uh, I can't really see. That's okay. We're going to, yeah, I should, I think I, it already saved when I slept anyway. But, um, there was a, the one, we're going to go to the one closest to here. So uh, I think it's just straight ahead here. Really can't see. It's really foggy. Uh, let's see what time of day. Yeah, it's pretty early morning. It should start appearing. I think it's right there. Nope, that's a rock. That is a rock for sure. Maybe it's somewhere around here. There it is. There's one. That wolf is headed straight for it. I thought it was closer than this. We're going to have to fight that wolf. That's okay because I kind of want it to meet anyway, but it won't die right away. Yep, come here. My knife is nice and sharp for you. Yep, lost some blood, so we need to bandage ourselves up, it looks like. Uh, we need to use our and bandage. And it's always good to start a fire when you're fishing because it keeps you warmer obviously you get cold as you fish because uh, you're out here on the ice now i don't have very much fuel yeah it's going to give us an hour and a half oh well uh i don't know that might not i should have used my crowbar now that i thought think about it oh i think that wolf just died he sounded something like it died okay so that is cleared we're gonna fish for two hours. Go ahead. We'll freeze. This actually is going a little faster because I think, ooh, Lake White Fish. Uh, we uh, improved in our fishing skill from the last time. Okay, so that gave us, let's see, we needed five kilograms, I believe. So that has given us, ooh, two, th almost three kilograms. I think I'm gonna be brave and start, try it again. We might be able to get this a lot faster than I thought. Okay, so we're cold now, I think, and thirsty. We have one, two, three, 
four, we have enough. This one's over two kilograms. So we have, a, we have our five kilograms. We're going to go. We're also encumbered. Not surprised. I think I want my flare because I am down to 38%, which is not good if you have to fight a wolf. So we're going to, we're going to use, use this because there's a wolf over there. And I'm sure that wolf just dropped dead over there. We're going to come back because we're already really encumbered. And uh, we're going to scare that wolf away. Apparently. have forgotten how to aim this thing. Yeah. So we're like two and a half kilograms encumbered. Uh, we have no water. And we're very hungry. But I am... We're all stretched out here. It's 11% cured. These are 16% cured. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep checking on it. I need that food because I'm hungry. I have to go get it. It sounds like there is a storm coming. I'm at risk for hypothermia. That's just wonderful. Oh my God. I hate these storms. You cannot see anything. I'm not even going to bother with that other wolf right now. I need to go find some shelter because I'm going to freeze to death. We've already been down this route several times in this gameplay. Not this specific gameplay, but you know overall. You know what I mean. Okay, so we've We've eaten and drink and slept and all that great stuff. We're going to head back now to Jeremiah. I'm not going to bother with that wolf because I got to thinking... We're going to have to pass through here anyway and um, to go because I have a feeling. Let me start this over. I have a feeling. Oh, I can't go to the next. Oh, yes, I can go to the next thing. I have a feeling we're going to end up here because this is where that bear is. So I think for the next quest, this is where we're going to end up. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to we're going to have to pass through here this area anyway. So we'll just get it on the way to the other place. So I'm just going to go back to his place now. Okay, so here is his little bin. We're going to open this and we're going to put in that fish. Uh, we're going to start with the biggest ones. There is two. And uh, let's see here. This one is three, four. That should do it. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Maybe we don't need to put that big one. We can put the smaller one in. That, that gives us, we'll eat the bigger one. So we got our our meat, our fish in there. Now it's, that's it. That's done. So now we just need to come in here and heal ourselves and eat. We're going to jump right in and we're going to go on to the hunting. I don't think we're going to get actually through this part because this is, I mean, this video might be a little small. It's a little small. Might be a little short because I'm afraid if I put the hunting and fishing together, it's going to be like a really long video because I just feel like this hunting is going to take a while um, because, you know, I just suck at it. But um, we're going to go ahead and see what he wants us to get for him. Trick is to spot your target, get as close as you can, take a shot, and don't miss. That's what you said. That's easy. That's all. Pretty much a few years of practice and you might have a clue. I don't have a few years. There's clearing a few hilltops over from here. I'll mark it on your map. Almost always a herd of deer that winter there. Shoot one and bring the meat back here and we'll both know how you can, we'll both know you can feed yourself in the wild. Okay, I'll bite. Remember, if you hit one, but don't kill it, you'll have to track it till it drops. Look for blood in the snow and follow its trail. Uh, it'll fall eventually, then we both eat. Good luck. Yeah, you ready? Yes, we're ready. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Then good luck. Come back to me when you have one bagged. Okay, so he just wants us to, to get a deer. Maybe we don't. Okay, so we don't have to leave this area, uh, which is cool. So you know what? I think I am going to go ahead and we're just going to tack it onto this one. We're going to do both of them together because uh, maybe this won't take as long. I had a feeling that he was going to have us kill a bear. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know where, what clues led me to believe that we had to kill a bear. But <laughs> anyways, we just need to kill a deer. So we need to go over to the unnamed pond. But before that, I do need to sleep. Uh, I need to heal the sprained ankle. And plus, it is almost night. So we're gonna. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll get, get going after that. Okay, guys. Not only am I hungry and dehydrated, 
I, I, how many episodes is this? 18. I don't know why I haven't noticed this before. I don't know. But when you are hungry and you rest and you rest and you rest, it takes calories. So you get more hungry and more hungry. It actually depletes your health. I went from 77% down to 35% here. Uh, that's horrible. So um, yeah, I'm hurting pretty badly. I need to find some food. Uh, but at the same time, I, I want to do that deer. I did hit that wolf or something died back a ways. So I I'm going to pick this up. Two days have passed. There was a storm. I slept through it. We're going to have to go find some food now. <laughs> it's very early morning. I did find a little candy bar hiding in here and I ate right from it. I didn't take it. I just hit space bar to eat it and it didn't do anything. So apparently when you uh, eat something right away and you don't steal it it doesn't lose you don't lose trust so that's good so i do hear there's like birds somewhere obviously i think it's back uh this way i i really do need to find i mean i really need that meat i can't afford to try and kill a wolf at this point because i am down to 35 percent health i'll probably die but uh, I really do need to meet somehow. So I just realized I forgot to check, but <laughs> we need to bring back deer meat. 10 kilograms of deer meat. I'm afraid I can't carry all of that. Okay, so this must be it. My missions just, uh, just um, updated. So this must be the spot. Yes, I think this is it. Uh, there should be deer. Oh, there's one over there. I see him. We want to crouch. Because we want to be very quiet. Actually, it's going to take forever to get over there. Oh, I'm going to die before this happens, but that's okay. Maybe I can get some practice shots in. You have to get close. I'm dying of hypothermia in case you're wondering what got me is the oops look at I scared him uh, <laughs> I'm cold he just ran all far far away I guys I didn't even have a bullet in my freaking gun because I'm that smart We got that shit right in the head. We got that guy right in the freaking head. Oh my land. 9.6 kilograms, guys. 9.6 kilograms. Oh. I died. Oh, of course I would die. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I wonder if, it left, if that deer died. I just didn't. Nope, there it is. Yeah, see, I'm too far. Too far. Uh, I'm going to have to load back. I think what's going to have to happen is I, I'm going to have to eat. I'm going to have to go back to those wolves, and I'm going to have to eat. Because this is going to be over and over the same exact thing, over and over and over. I'm going to have to go back to, the, um, to that one wolf. Hopefully he's there. Hopefully he's got some food for us. Or maybe at least get some fish. I suppose I could go fishing. Now I'm at hypothermia risk. I'm gonna have to stop and build a fire in that um, office. Uh, I'm gonna break this branch down, give me some wood. Ooh, I died. Ooh, oh, close to death. I shouldn't have, uh, that branch was far too big for me to be chopping it. I, um, well, that was stupid. Boy, that was real stupid. So no breaking up sticks. I'm just gonna start picking up sticks now. So I can have something to cook my meat with. I'm not going to break down nothing. 
That's what the problem was. I used my hacksaw and uh, it was too much for me apparently. I do know. Oh, this was the locked cabin. We can now unlock this cabin. So, wow, that I had forgotten all about this. So we got a key for cabin 13, I believe it is. And uh, it, we have not been here yet. Let's let's see if we can get some food. That would be awesome. I uh, don't really need scrap metal, so we're gonna leave that. Pork and beans we can give to the guy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll keep it for myself. We have a broom. Uh, I don't want that. We have books. Uh, I might want that for fire later, but we have some boots. Oh my God, we have insulated boots. It's 27%, but I think that's better than what I've got because these at 1%, guys. 1%. Hope nobody needs this. Fire anymore. striker. Metal tool designed to start to help start fires in the wilderness. Oh, yes. And some rifle ammunition. And yes. Yes, yes. That was very helpful. Okay, so I thought maybe there might be a note somewhere. but Too okay. heavy. Yeah, I know. Apparently there is not. There's cloth and stuff, but um, unless I'm missing, I don't think there's anything else in this room, in this little place. Uh, so we're going to sleep, I think. Okay, so we've slept. We've 63%, which is better. We're still hungry. I did eat the peaches and peanut butter. That's always a good combo, uh, but... I'm going to try and not eat the pork and beans. I'm trying to hand it in to give our trust up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go fish. Um, we're going to go back to fishing and uh, see if we can get some more of that. I am going to pick up some twigs and stuff for fire. I should have took those books. I guess I can go back and get that. Okay, I'm going to try and make my way back. God, I can't see. Uh, I, I think it's this way. <laughs> the cabin, not the cabin, but the office. Oh my god, I have to reload, guys. Yeah, you can't get much closer than that. Oh, yes. Now, I don't think this is going to count towards the meat that I needed to give Jeremiah because I think I have to kill it in that area. But this is going to help me. <laughs> Instead of fishing, I can have this. I mean, I don't know. I, I could try it. Is that? That's not. I could try giving it to him. Maybe I, I cook up something. some of it and uh, give the rest to him. Okay, so I decided I'm pretty encumbered, but I did cook up some of the. Uh, meat here and ate a couple pieces. I still have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half kilograms of meat, which I think I needed 10. Was that right? 10, I believe. Uh, yeah, so it's half. I'll have to kill. I don't know actually if this meat will work because we didn't kill it in the area, but I'm still going to try and I don't know whether I need to cook it and then put it in the crate. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the crate and see what happens with it. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to head out. It is the next day, uh, actually a couple days because I was so weak. I needed food and water. I had to, you know, quickly gather sticks and whatnot and, uh, try not to die. So we're just going to head out and head back to, uh, Jeremiah's place. And it is a very foggy morning. I can't hardly see. I think I do want my, uh, flare gun out. I mean, I do have good health. I'm all the way up, but it feels like it's negative 11. You know what? That feels what it's pretty much like here in Michigan. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I'm just going to equip this flare gun just in case there's wolves. I don't know whether I want to kill any or not. I'm, I'm not feeling like I want to fight. I just want to get back to Jeremiah's and find out if this meat is going to work or not. I think it might. I think... Um, it doesn't matter probably where you get the meat. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Okay, so here we are. We are back at Jeremiah's. We are going to, let's see if we can put this stuff in here. Um, let's see here. We'll put in this smaller piece. Let's see if that counts. And then uh, let's go to our journal here. And it does count. So I kind of thought it would, 
But you never know with these things. You never know how exact you have to be. So I think they pointed you into that area uh, to go just because that's where they were going to have, you know, would have deer or something planned. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> we're going to put all the rest of these in here. And you do not need to cook it. It is raw. It is just going in here. So we have, uh, let's see how much that is now. We have... Uh, so we have half, we have a little over half of the meat in there. It is currently almost midday. I am neither thirsty or I'm half full. So what I'm going to do is we're going to head out to this place right here and we're going to try and kill us some deer. Just sounds so easy, doesn't it? But I'm sure I'll mess it up somehow. I just sprained my freaking ankle and wrist at the same time. How the hell does that happen? I want to know. Oh, good. Good night. What the heck? Okay, so here we are. Here we are. We need to pull out a rifle. Right here. I better reload because I don't think I did after that killing that last deer. There's the deer. We need to crouch. See? We'll get a little closer. Oh, I missed. Freaking A, I missed. I probably wasn't close enough. Now I got him. I saw the blood fly. Now I gotta track his blood. He'll drop. See? There's blood. Wow, that was shooting at a tree, Jen. Good going. <laughs> I should just wait for him to drop instead of wasting my bullets because he's, he, he, he's injured. He's going to drop. I promise he is. I don't know what happened to that deer. I'm going to find him. He's going to end up dropping somewheres. In the meantime, we're going to gather this for our trust to get our trust up with old Jeremiah. Oh, look what I just found. I found me some painkillers. I found this cabin. I came in here. I think I've been here before. And I, I got some cloth to make some bandages. And apparently I got some painkillers. They Stuff like that does, I think, painkillers do respawn. Um, there are certain things that do respawn and some things that don't. Uh, I think they must be because I could swear I have been here before. Um, it's a little cabin uh, not that far from uh, that pond that we were at. Oh, it is getting windy. Oh, look at there. Found a deer. Found a deer. Red alert. Red alert. <laughs> <laughs> There's my deer. I found my deer. Okay, so I did find it. He did just drop. He's only 20% frozen. And oh my lord, he has 9.4. We're going to take this all. We're going to be super, super encumbered. But, um, and I think I am going to sleep here because you can hear there's a storm going on. And now I'm at risk for hypothermia. But I think we can, we'll be okay. Uh, it is currently uh, morning, very early. I think I heard a wolf out there, but we got to go. We are going to come in here. Let's give him his meat. So we had six and a half. So there would be seven, eight, nine. There, I think that's going to do it. Let's see. Oh, he needs a half more. Not quite. Let's give him, does that give him enough? Nope. Oh, it's so close. So close. So give him a small, let's give him this. I wonder if I can take this out and put one of these in that are smaller. Okay, so we're going to return back to him and uh, see what he does. I do really need to eat before I talk to him, so I'm going to do that just in case. Uh, I just feel like I should do that. <laughs> okay, we are full as full can be and no longer thirsty. Let's not point our flurry on at the poor man. Let's see what Jeremiah has to huh. say. Not bad for a pilot. Yeah, well, thanks for the help. I think I'm ready to get out of here. I have a little graduation present for you. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, we get. Oh, look at that knife. Oh. It's beautiful. 
Thanks. You've earned it. And I have a feeling you're going to be needing it before you're through. I have a feeling you might be right. Okay, so that gave us 15 to trust with him. Let's see what our journal has to say now. The old trapper is badly injured after a beer attack and needs strong antibiotics to survive. He might know something about Astrid. You better... Okay, I think we have to just talk to him again. But I want to first see that knife that he gave us. Let's just take a look at that knife. Is this the one he gave us? Yes. Jeremiah's knife. A superior quality hunting knife. A gift from Jeremiah. It is 79%. Wow. That sounds like it's going to be nice. <laughs> so we're going to talk to him again. I appreciate your help in learning how to survive out here. I really do. But my friend is still out there. And they may need my help. It's time I got going. Like I said before, Mackenzie, there's only one way out of here. Through that dam. Okay. No, oh, we gotta so go back to that dam. How do I get through it then? I'm the only one who can get you through. And I want to help you, I really do. Oh, I'm but... tired of being jerked around, Jeremiah. I need to get out of here. Listen, Mackenzie. There's more at stake here than you realize. This is about more than you, or me, or your friend. What are you talking about? Just listen. If you can't get past the bear, the rest doesn't matter. If I was well enough, I'd take care of it myself. But I'm wrecked. You are I'll wrecked. I'll die here unless you finish it off. I'm a pilot with a bit of survival training. I'm not an experienced hunter. Kill the bear. What can I do? You can pull a trigger, can't you? Well, yeah. Get out there. Keep your wits about you. He's out there, waiting. But you're going to have to bait him so the fight can happen on your terms. What? Bait him? With what? Bears can smell blood from over 20 clicks away. You get out there, cut yourself enough that you bleed, and he'll come to you. I'm sure of it. So, you want me to use myself as bait? There's no way I'm doing this. This is crazy. He'll come for you when you're not expecting it. But you won't miss it. It won't be subtle. It'll sound like a ton of muscle and bone bearing down on you like a freight train of hate and hunger. You stand your ground. Do not flinch. You raise your rifle, you sight him, and when you can see between his eyes, you squeeze that trigger. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's the only way. And if I make it? How will I know when it's done? He won't go down with one shot. He'll run off, and it'll seem like you got him, but he'll be back. He always comes back. You do it again, and again, as many times as it takes to bring him down. This sounds like suicide. Only yes, it does. Fail. You're sure this is the only way? You bring me the old bear's ear, and I'll get you out of here. I will give you everything you need to find your friend. Okay. Well, you better hope this works. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> or I'll be sending the old bear back for you. Ah. Remember, Mackenzie. Wait till you see the whites of his eyes. Then squeeze the trigger. I understand. It's not something you can understand with your head, Mackenzie. No man can know if he has what it takes to face the bear until he's faced it. And then, it's not about what's in here. It's about what you've got in here. You aren't going to kill the bear with your head. You're going to kill him with your heart. <laughs> what? Say what? Yeah, don't forget your gun. Okay, so he, he didn't even wait. He cut his hand right away. Um, so let's see, does it, what does it say on our, how we're doing? We have no afflictions, though. But look at our health, it's 44%. Um, so 
<gasps> That's gonna be it for today, guys. I, yeah, I knew this was coming. I was just dreading this moment to have to do this, uh, to do kill this bear. So that's what's going to happen the next time. We finished his schooling now, and so we need to go out there and trigger. It's probably on the map somewhere. So I don't know. It, it's not on the map. I don't see any exclamation marks anywhere unless I didn't go up here far enough. I don't see anything. But anyway, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this time. I think we're getting close to finish finishing this episode. And as so far... From what I know, the third episode has not come out yet, so we will see, um, but I think we're getting closer to finishing this uh, episode, and I think all we need to do is kill this bear. Sounds like it's going to be very difficult. I would think it is. Then Jeremiah will lead us through the dam, and that will probably be the end of this episode, and we'll go to the next one whenever that comes out. So, yes, I'm really enjoying this this game a whole lot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't for forget to give it a big thumbs up a big like i would greatly appreciate it if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i hope that you do and yeah i thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time bye